Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of the CyberPro Podcast. Today, we will be talking about CMMC, Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification. I'm excited to take this forward. I'm excited for you to learn. And hopefully, if you have any questions, feel free to just join the conversation. And as we kick it off, CMMC is currently in 2.0 stage. Here's what you need to know. CMM stands for the Cybersecurity Maturity Model. The C at the end stands for the certification. It's a certification that contractors need to perform Department of Defense work. It's something that's been in the works for a while and we'll talk about it. But before we do, you also need to understand that it's built off of a NIST framework. NIST being 80171 specifically, but also focused on its document that it came from, which is NIST 853. Trust me, you don't have to remember those. You can always come back and watch this video. But let's understand the parents of CMMC. The first one was 1.0. It was created a number of years ago. It just didn't match any frameworks. And so the folks at CMMCAB, the C3PAOs, all the acronyms in the world, as well as the contractors pushed back. And CMMC 2.0 is created as it matches the NIST 800-171. We call that its father document. This framework has been a part of the government, and it has been in contracts under the DFARS clause that you see on the screen. Its parent, or the grandparent of CMMC, is NIST 853. Understand that 171 represents less than 20% of what's in 53. And if you're bored and want to go to sleep some night, it's a good way to knock yourself out when you're, when you're trying to read it. So what is it all about? Well, CMMC really focuses heavily on CUI, controlled unclassified information. And there's a number of different locations that talk about CUI. What I mean by locations is links, legislature, policies, even an executive order. And if you're interested, I can share those with you because, well, knowing is half the battle. But here's the important part about CMMC. It breaks down into practices. As you can see here, there's three levels now, level one, two, and three. Level one and two are currently pretty much solidified. Level three is still working out the kinks. Level one is a foundational level. It will be provided as a self-assessment. Level two will be something that you need to get certified for. So you'll have to go through not only a pre-assessment and readiness, become prepared, and then go through an actual certification assessment. Level three will be working through over the next few years as they try to identify what that looks like. Level one requirements, pretty simple. 17 security controls today under six domains. As you can see here on the screen, those are the six domains. These are really a lot of focus on policies and procedures. And so being mindful of that, we move to level two where there's 110 controls, and they're grouped across 14 domains. These domains are based on the NIST standards. And understanding that each of these controls breaks down into multiple steps. So it's not just as easy as turning on multi-factor authentication. It's going to include things such as 24-7 security operations monitoring. It's going to include a number of access control policies. It's going to have some physical protections, some badge and identification requirements, not to mention your incident response and some of your major cyber digital components. We won't dig into that today, but if you have any questions, we can obviously push on that. But it's important that you understand it's not going to be something you can turn on quickly. Level three, just so you see it, it's looking like it's going to be about 130 controls grouped under 16 domains, but those are potentially going to be changing. Here's some timeline insights for you. Right In July of, 20, uh, of 2023, the CMMC final rule was submitted after multiple years of figuring out what it was going to look like and how that would factor. Typically takes between 280 and 333 business days to get the final rule published. So we're looking at somewhere near Q1 of 2025 with a phased rollout. That means you'll start to see these DFARS clauses being placed in Department of Defense contracts. Timeline for someone like a small business or a, even a medium-sized business, even mid-markets, 
to reach the NIST standards of 800-171 revision two, which is currently where it's at, it is moving towards revision three, is about 12 to 18 months for those SMB sized businesses. Today, less than 30% of government contractors have implemented or even started to implement the standards that you need to meet to meet not only these NIST requirements, which again are in government contract clauses currently as a self-reporting, but let alone to meet CMMC. So what does that mean? That means we should be starting to prepare for the future. But today, what we need to focus on is taking a breath, relax, you have time. Start putting a plan together, start talking about how you're going to meet these requirements for all of your government contracts, but more than that, for good and complete cyber hygiene. If you have any questions, we'd love to help. Thank you so much for watching the Cyber Pro Podcast.